right. Okay, I hope that you guys can hear. Um, good morning, my dear students. Uh, we have been discussing about uh, in the English literature class, Bed of Sweets by R.K. Narayan, the prescribed novel uh, for your ordinary level English literature paper. So basically, the novel will be discussed from grade 11 onwards, but I have started novel from grade 10 onwards because of uh, several reasons. Number one, I can finish it off with you and it will be a great advantage for grade 10 students. They can finish it off the novel because the novel becomes the biggest headache when it comes to English literature. Most of the marks will be allocated to the novel, right? In the second paper, you will get 15 marks. In the first paper, you will get eight marks. So altogether, 20 marks will be allocated for the novel. All the other questions, you will get somewhere around 15. But uh, when it comes to the, not 15, actually, yeah, 15. But when it comes to the um, novel, in the second paper, you will get 15 marks. In the second first paper, you will get 10 marks. I am sorry. Altogether, 25 marks will be allocated. That is number one. Number two, uh, we are going to discuss the entire novel. All the passages we have discussed until chapter number six. Uh, nowadays, we are discussing about the teacher's explanation. When it comes to teacher's explanation, we explain what kind of uh, quotations that you have to study and what kind of importance are there when it comes to these quotations and what kind of quotations that you should buy hard. So when it comes to quotations, uh, English literature students, make sure to remember, uh, sometimes some students are really good with the plot of the story. They know the short story, they know about the poem, they know about uh, the novel. But the most important thing is you have to provide proper quotations. Your quotations should not be handmade quotations. They should be original quotations, right? The original quotations taken from the book. So in my presentation in red color, I always uh, give you quotations. So please make sure to write down that quotations in a different color. Each and every quotation in red color clearly uh, shows us some kind of uh, validity and valuability when it comes to the theme of the story. And these uh, quotations will help you immensely when it comes to answering questions, uh, when it comes to the novel, right? So please make sure to remember that as well. So the next part is that you have to be thoroughly aware with this uh, novel. And most probably uh, in the month of December, we will start the second novel. That is uh, Prince and the Pauper. I will discuss that one as well. So basically, we are going to cover two novels. When it comes to the examination, you can select whatever the novel that you like and you can write your answers. So this is how we have planned actually our work. Up to now, we have discussed six chapters in the novel. And uh, that is actually, I have read the novel in each and every paragraph and all the difficult words I explain. And then nowadays we are writing about the uh, note. Uh, I think we are in chapter number three. So I will give you a small introduction, but we did uh, so far. We discussed about uh, Jagan's and Mali's problem. That is what we call the communication problem or else we call the generation gap. This generation gap actually occurred because of Ambika's death. Ambika can be identified as Jagan's uh, wife, uh, Mali's mother. So Ambika was suffocating from a brain tumor. So she used to take all the Western medicine, all the paracetamol, but Jagan, as a Hindu follower, as, a, uh, as an um, orthodox uh, traditional follower, he never liked his wife to give all these Western medicine. According to him, traditional medicine or else the Ayurvedic medicine was the best. So as a result of that, she, he did not love uh, his uh, wife to take all these Western medicine. As a result of that, Ambika died. Right? So Jagan is partly responsible for Ambika's death. Uh, last week, we discussed a kind of reaction actually made by the doctors, right? Uh, even in front of the doctors, Jagan did not give up his boisterous ideas about the Western medicine, about the uh, traditional medicine and traditional behavior. Jagan always uh, said that definitely this kind of uh, illnesses can be cured by using a traditional medicine. But the doctors said that, okay, she is at her deathbed. There is no point of discussing about uh, um, traditional medicine. Now she is at her deathbed. Your son is watching at us. Please go and talk to her, right? This is the only thing that you can do. So little Mali actually heard about this conversation at the end of the day. Mali was totally upset because Mali had a great connection, great bond uh, with his mother and his father, right? Even Ambika did not like Jagannath a lot because of Jagannath's traditional behavior. So a lot of problems actually occurred inside the family as well due to Jagannath's traditional behavior. So when you refer to the novel, you have to remember the main two characters, that is Jagannath and Mali. Jagannath is representing the traditional culture. Yeah, Mali is representing the modern culture. 
apart from the basic, uh, the, the, the two characters, we have Grace. Grace can be identified as a very important character who connects all these cultures together, the most adaptable character in the novel. So, however, in chapter number three, we discuss the problem, the nuclear problem. This is what R.K. Narayan has introduced as invisible barrier. Most of the problems occurred between father and son because of this invisible barrier. Now, what is the invisible barrier? The invisible barrier is Mali thinks that Dagan is indirectly responsible for his mother's death. As a result of that, Mali did not show proper respect. Mali did not show any kindness towards his father. Uh, for Mali, Dagan can be only identified as an ATM machine. He thought that whenever he needed money, he can ask money from his father. So their entire connection is actually based on money. Even though they are father and son, they did not maintain that relationship. Even though Jagan showed unconditional love towards, uh, towards, towards Mali, Mali did not return the same love to Jagannath. So this is the conflict that we are discussing. We, we basically have 13 chapters in the novel. Throughout the 13 chapters, we can clearly understand 80% of the novel is about Jagannath's character. So make sure to remember about Jagannath's character. From chapter number one to chapter number three, we discussed about the dual behavior or else dual characteristics related to Jagannath's character. If I am not mistaken, we discussed the outside world. He tries to impress the outside world, representing that he always says that he is the greatest disciple of Mahatma Gandhi. To the outside world, he is a person who always reads Bhagavad Gita. He is a vegetarian and he always follows uh, Hindu traditions and everything. But if you refer to his character inside, he is a money-minded person. He did each and everything to earn money. As an example, he actually sold the leftover sweets in the shop in order to earn money. He did not provide any sweets free of charge, even for the beggars. But his main motive is to earn money. So he is a money-minded character. In the first chapter and second chapter, we can find a number of examples to his money-minded characteristics. These are the basic things that you have to remember when it comes to the novel, right? Without having this information, it will be very much difficult for you to understand the novel. So please make sure to read the chapters again and again. Uh, before participating for the class, I recommend you to novel. I recommend you to read the novel several times, then you will be familiar with the situations and the plot of the novel. When it comes to your ordinary level paper, they will definitely give a passage from the prescribed novel. So you should remember the passage. You should remember in which chapter that this particular paragraph actually uh, this uh, this par this particular paragraph actually contain all sorts of information should be there in your mind. So in order to do, do that, you should be very much familiar with the novel. In order to become familiar, you have to read the novel several times. So make sure to read the novel several times. Language is very simple. Anybody can do that. So last week, we actually stopped from uh, this invisible barrier. I told you what actually happened between Jagannath and Mali. The main problem, they had other problems as well. When we go to num chapter number 13, we can see most of the problems getting worse. But at the very beginning, Gagan and Mali, they did not have a proper conversation. They did not like to talk to each other. Mali actually led an isolated life. Gagan provided each and everything, all the luxuries that Mali needed. Gagan was under the impression that providing money, providing luxuries, is the best thing that a father can give or else a father can present uh, to his particular son or daughter. So later, Jagan realized that he did not provide proper advisors. He did not provide proper guidance. As a result of that, Mali becomes a drunkard. Right? Mali becomes an alcoholic. We will get to know about that. Right? So here in chapter number three, the main problem between Jagan and, Jagan and Mali is introduced to us. That is Ambika's death. Right? Ambika suffocated from a brain tumor, a brain cancer. So uh, Jagan did not allow her to take all the Western medicine. Mali used to give all the Western medicine to uh, Ambika whenever she uh, was suffering from that brain tumor. So father advised Mali not to give uh, that type of medicine to his mother. As a result of that, Ambika died without paying proper attention to her illness. So Mali thinks that his father is responsible. And throughout the novel, we can understand, my dear children, a lot of problems actually occur between father and son because of the generation gap. Mali is actually representing the modern culture. This is actually the post-independent period of India where Jagan is representing the pre-independent period of India. So Jagan thinks that Mahatma Gandhi is the greatest person, the greatest philosopher who can provide the lessons to the developing country. But according to Mali, Mahatma Gandhi is kind of an old-fashioned uh, person who 
who has provided some kind of freedom, limited freedom to the young girls and boys. Now, India is a free country. India should get together with globalization and they have to move on with the new technology. That is why he went to America in order to learn the technology of story writing. Later, he comes with the half Korean, half American girl called Base. This clearly shows us the connection between or else the uh, conflict between uh, modern culture and the um, traditional culture. So we can see Mali as a character who always like who, who always likes to represent his Western culture. Even after coming from uh, in uh, coming from America, he used to live uh, like an American in the Indian society. So as a result of that, he became a laughing stock. These are the basic things that we have discussed in the novel. So I have given you some brief introduction. Please make sure to remember the introduction. I think we have completed this part, right? If you have any problems, please ask. All right, so we are coming to the next slide. You can start writing. When Jagan lost his nerve completely at the deathbed of Ambika, Mali went to his mother and he was there until the last breath of her. This clearly shows us the connection between Mali and um, Ambika. Make sure to remember, my dear children, Mali is the only child. He did not have any siblings to uh, share his thoughts, to share his sadness or happiness or anything like that. And Ambika is the only girl, or else Ambika is the only woman that Mali associated. He is the only one that Mali got some kind of love and warmth. So Mali had a very close relationship with his mother. Uh, in the book, R.K. Narayan says that after school, when all the other children went to play after school, but Mali did not go to play. He stayed inside the house in order to support um, Ambika, in order to provide all the medicine and all the other support. So this clearly shows us that being a small boy, he provided his level best for his mother because he had a deep connection. The same connection cannot be seen with um, uh, Jagannath. So as a result of that, it can be also uh, a reason for their problems, right? They always had problems uh, with each other. This can be another example or else another reason. We will move on from there. This shows the affection and the connection between them. Even after so many years, Jagan could not forget this incident. Quote from the text, yeah, this red color quotation is very much important. Please highlight and write down. Even with the passage of time, Jagan never got over the memory of that moment. The coarse, raw pain he had felt at the sight of Mali on that fateful day remained petrified in some vital center uh, of his, uh, for his being. From that day, the barrier had come into being. The boy had ceased to speak to him normally. So this quotation is very much important, my dear students. Please make sure to write down the quotation in a different color pen, right? Now he says, of the moment, the coarse raw pain he had felt at the sight of Mali on that fearful day remained petrified in some vital center uh, of his being. So here it should be of center of, right? Please correct that center of his being, from that day, the barrier, that is the barrier, right? So remember, this is the nuclear problem, right? The barrier. The barrier had come into being, the boy had ceased to, ceased to mean stop, right? The boy stopped, right? The boy stopped um, speaking to his father normally, but then assured that he does not have any problem or doubt with regarding Mali's content of writing. He said, if Mali needed anything, he can ask without any hesitation, right? He said that if Mali needed anything without having any hesitation, Mali can ask them. But Mali, as a son, never wanted to have father's intervention for his career. Mali never liked to engage his father's um, company when it comes to his private life, when it comes to his professional business. He never wanted to take advices from his father. That is because the nuclear problem, the barrier that we discussed earlier. So this information is very much important for you. Make sure to write down this part. So we are end of the chapter number three. So Mali, Jagan actually came to ask from Mali, uh, is there any uh, needs and wants that Jagan can fulfill Mali to become a writer? So Jagan asked that, uh, would you like to have a new table? Do you have enough stationaries? So Mali always came with the idea that I, I don't need your help. Throughout the novel, we can understand Mali only needed Jagan's help when it comes to money. When it comes to the concept of money, Mali always asks Jagan's help. This is what we can understand throughout the novel, right? But uh, any emotional connection or else any uh, bond, any emotional bond between Jagannath and Mali cannot be seen. This is something very much important. So this is the main problem or else the nuclear problem. A lot of other reasons also affected for this. 
make sure to remember the main reason is Ambika's death. From that day onwards, Mali stopped talking to his father because Mali always believed that his father is indirectly responsible for his mother's death. So we are uh, at the end of the chapter number three. Please make sure to complete and we will move on from there. If you have any questions, please make sure to ask. If you have finished, please pass me a message. Make sure to write that in the sense of a responsibility and remember when you are writing, make sure to write properly with the information. Just uh, don't copy down. Remember, this is what actually happened, right? Remember the story. Right. Shall we move on from there? I hope that most of the students have finished. Others, please write down. Make sure to practice your writing. Even yesterday, I told you, if you don't practice your writing, you can't write answers. There are a lot of students who are really lethargic to write. Make sure to remember, you cannot do a subject like literature if you are lethargic, if you are lazy. The more you write, you will understand the valuability. Right? The more you write, you will understand this is how I have to write. This is the way that I have to uh, construct my sentences. This is the subject verb agreement. This is the pattern. Everything will be understood. If you don't write, there will be a problem, right? You will not be improved. So make sure to write. Okay, so I hope that you guys have completed. So we will move on to the next part. Uh, right. So let's see what happens in the next slide. Right. Chapter number three is still we are in chapter number three. He did not explain much about his writing career to his father because of that. So you can understand. Uh, Mali did not want to engage with his father when it comes to his private matters, when it comes to his, uh, uh, what do you call, business matters. He did not want to uh, engage with his father because he knew that there is no point of talking to his father. He knew that there is no point of talking to his father because his father is a person who always believes in traditional methods, traditional mechanisms. But as a young boy, Mali did not want to take that type of advices from his father. So as a result of that, he did not enjoy. So make sure to remember, this is one of the weaknesses that we can understand from Jagan's character. Because of Jagan's attitude, because of Jagan's beliefs, what happened? Jagan lost all his loved ones. This example is Ambika. Like Jagan lost Ambika. It is true that Ambika got that brain tumor uh, as something natural, right? And we also believe that uh, Jagan did not take a knife and kill Dambika. Now, but Jagan's behavior actually, uh, the, the, the behavior of Jagan is actually impact a lot. Right? The impact that made by Jagan's behavior actually, we cannot, uh, what do you call, isolate that idea. Because of Jagan's behavior only, Dambika faced that kind of fate, that kind of fate. You have to understand, right? So uh, Jagan, if Jagan allowed her to take all these Western medicine, Ambika could have been saved, but unfortunately, Jagan did not like that. This is what happened because he always believed in traditional ideas. So R.K. Narayan tries to give us the message when it comes to traditions, right? You can be uh, representing the modern culture or else the traditional culture. You have to be uh, in a neutral form. Don't go to the extreme. Now, if you take Jagan's character, he is on one extreme. If you take Mali's character, he is on another extreme. But if you take Grace as a character, she is a very much neutral character. She lived in America. 
If she was in America, she behaved like an American. People ask that. Right? Soon after she came to India, she behaved like an Indian daughter-in-law. She used to wear all the saris and everything, and she used to like the ambience, and she really uh, cleaned the house. So even Jagan thought that after Ambika's death, Goddess Lakshmi came to the house. Whatever said and done, you should remember that utterance is very much important. Jagan thought that after my wife, after my wife's death, Goddess Lakshmi, the Goddess Lakshmi can be identified as the Goddess of Purity, the Goddess of Prosperity. So Jagan thought that Goddess Lakshmi came to my house. This lady, this girl is actually sweeping the house and putting all the new curtains and everything. So Jagan was really happy. Make sure to understand. So Ambika had that ability to adapt. Ambika had that ability to adapt, but Mali failed to adapt. Mali was in America. He used to live as an American. That is totally okay. And after that, he came to India, right, to a rural village called Malgudi. So when he tried to behave like an American in India, what happened? He became a joke to the people. He became a laughing stock. People actually laughed at him. He always wore this uh, full suit inside the house. He always uh, had that camera with him. Right? So uh, he was like a joker to people. So he did not know how to adapt. On the other hand, Jagan also did not adapt. Jagan is actually representing the pre-independent period of India. But in the post-independent period of India also, Jagan had that same conventional attitudes, right? Traditional ethics. So as a result of that, he, even Jagan's character can be identified as a stagnated character. Even Mali is also a stagnated character. Right? The only developing character can be identified as Grace. This is a very powerful character who can adapt according to the, the relevant culture, relevant tradition. That is something that we have to appreciate, right? That is why grace is very much important. You should remember that part, right? Okay, so we will move on from there. He did not explain much about his writing career to his father because of that. Dalan felt strange about their discussion. He had never had this type of discussion with his son, ah, right? He had never had that type of discussion. As a father, he never had some kind of uh, fruitful discussion with his son. He never had that. He never had that experience because whenever Jagan wanted to have some kind of discussion, Mali refused that. Mali always refused that. This is what we call the uh, generation gap. On the other hand, we can say the communication problem, the communication gap. Right? The communication gap actually occurred between the two. Very much important. We will move on. He had never had this type of discussion with his son. Clearly shows us their communication gap between each other. The next day in his shop, Jagan explained about his son's idea of becoming a writer to his only friend, Kazin. Now make sure to remember, even though Kazin can be identified as a minor character, the contribution done by Kazin's character cannot be underestimated, my dear students. Cannot be underestimated. Now, from the very beginning to the end of the chapter, you can see the appearance of Kazin's character. So Kazim can be identified as a very important character, as a very much important character. He is the only friend. He is the subordinate. He is the arbitrator. He is the mediator. It comes to the novel. The communication, the bridge of communication is actually built by Kazim. If Jagan wanted to say something to his son, then, uh, what do you call, Mali wanted to write some kind of message to Jagan. The communication bridge was actually built by Kazim. And Kazin is a person who always gives practical solutions. Jagan got to know that uh, Mali and Grace, when they were not married, right? Jagan was totally upset, right? Then Kazin came with a remarkable idea saying that if they like, we can arrange a secret marriage. Nobody will know. So that type of answers are very much practical. Even though Kazin is not married, right? Even though Jagan is married, even though Jagan is much more older, much more elder than Kazin, Kazin is a person who has got a lot of experience, right? He's a very much experienced person. Right? So Kazin's character cannot be underestimated. Make sure to remember that character as well. Because most of the students, they are under the impression that we have to only remember about Jagan's character. For sir said that out of the book, 80% of the book is about Jagan. Other characters are also important, my dear students. Don't forget that. Right, so we will move on. The next day in his shop, Jagan explained about his son's idea of becoming a writer to his only friend, Kazi. He was very happy about his son's decision to quote from the text. My son is writing a book. He is going to earn 25,000 rupees out of it. 
and he says he is going to finish it before September. Wonderful boy. I never knew my son was such a genius. Now, this is something very much important. If you can remember chapter number five and chapter number four, soon after Mali went to America, Chagan was really happy. Chagan was really proud about his son. Right? Whatever the people that he met each and every day, he used to tell that my son is in America. My son is in America. So it became a nuisance to the people. Then what did he do? Can you remember? He hired a beggar. He gave money to a beggar and asked the beggar to listen to the story. And he said to the beggar about the Grand Canyon, Kennedy's assassination. He explained each and every important thing which occurred in America, all the political incidents at that time period. So the beggar did not understand anything at all. The beggar waited there because Jagan gave money to him. So Jagan was a very proud father. He always thought that his son is special. Now, even from this quotation, we can clearly understand a father's natural spontaneous behavior. All the fathers are like that. If you take nine days for your ordinary level exam, your father will be happy. He will be proud. That is actually very much foolish, but he will be happy. Right? He will be happy. So all the fathers are like that. That is the normal natural mentality. Do we like it or not? Can you understand? So this quotation is very much important to show that bond, that unconditional love. Even though Mali did not show any respect, even though Mali did not show any love, even though Mali did not show uh, proper forms of um, love and affection, Jagan did not give up. Jagan did not give up on his son. Right? Until the last moment, Jagan wanted to take his son to the correct path. But finally, Jagan understood that the limit is passed by man. The limit is passed by man. So as a result of that, Jagan did not want to correct him. Jagan thought that society or else the police station is the best place where Mali can learn a lesson. Because Jagan has given so many chances. He has given so many chances, but Mali did not take them. As a result of that, in the final chapter we can understand. Jagan says, police station is not a bad place. He should go there and he should learn something. Because I even went to that place, so I even learned something, and he should also learn something. It's very much important. So this red color quotation can be identified as one good example for Jagan's love, unconditional love. What do you mean by unconditional? The love will not be changed according to the condition. Love will not be changed according to the conditions. It's quite ironical that the same person who criticized about young generation had changed his views about them soon after he realized the ambition of his son. If you can remember in the third chapter, Jagan actually criticized about young generation. Can we see that? Can you remember that quotation, right? Jagan actually criticized most of the uh, most of the young people. Right? Can you remember that quotation? Right, we will go to that quotation. He actually criticized the young generation, if I'm not mistaken, right? Young generation is a problem everywhere. If I'm not mistaken, that is the quotation. I can't remember whether I have included that in this presentation. No, we will meet that. Uh, we will go through that chapter. I will show you. Uh, he says that young generation is a problem everywhere. But now he says uh, something good about his son. Right. Okay. You have to complete from this part. Hurry up and finish it off. Then we will move on to the next slide. If you have any questions, please make sure to ask. If you have any problems, make sure to ask. While writing, make sure to remember the idea, right? Make sure to remember the idea as well. Remember to study the quotations also, right?
others did you finish shall we move on right okay now we have finished actually chapter number 3 uh, we have discussed on the chapter number 5 if i am not mistaken right If you have any questions please make sure to ask okay i hope that you guys have completed right okay but all right thank you now this is what happened right when it comes to the society always we can see some kind of collapse between father and son this is something natural even i had the same problem with my father right so we think that there is some kind of conflict right there is some kind of conflict but later only we realized that all these things actually done by my parents or else by my father uh, he has done everything for the sake of me or else for the betterment of my life but it was too late then i identified that it was too late so same thing happened to mali as well jagan tries to take mali to the correct path right he tries his level best but he was totally upset when he got to know that mali had continued continuously lied to him right mali had continuously lied to him so when he got to know about that he was totally upset he understood that there is no point of providing this support for my son because at the end of the day he will not understand my behavior or else my thoughts right okay all right this is the quotation that uh, i have been searching for right in chapter number 3 very important right he still believes his generation is the best to quote from the text it is not like my generation he came under the spell of gandhi and could not do wrong so this is what you have to understand these are the quotations that you have to study very much important quotation which clearly shows us the generation gap right one of the major themes when it comes to the story right generation gap so jagan was really proud about his generation jagan thought that his generation is the best jagan thought that his generation is the best yeah he said it is not like my generation which means his generation is far more better than the modern generation this kind of foolish ideas were there make sure to remember right make sure to highlight very important quotation generation gap see how the idea changed later after understanding about mali's idea he had a different view about this young generation now previously he said that the modern generation is very bad modern generation is so vicious modern generation is so vulgar and when it comes to their attitudes when it comes to their mindsets when it comes to their targets but soon after um what do you call he understood about mari's behavior he changed right as i have given on the screen he how the idea changed later after understanding about mari's idea um uh, he had a different view about this young generation right it should be he had make sure to correct that he had a different view about this young generation he believed change is an essential component ah uh, even though he did not like to change he believed in change can you understand the contradiction contradiction paraspara virodhi paraspara virodhi right he always believed in change hama velema viswasa karana minissu wenas wenna one kiyala habai ya wenas wenne and ekai vedagat puthe me wama yogalo highlight karagannu he is not going to change but he always believed that people should change according to the culture according to the tradition according to the ways of life he always believed that people should change but he did not change himself he became a stagnated character he was not ready to give up all these foolish ideas related to his traditional behavior he did not ready to give up right which will progress towards the future but the problem is he did not like to adapt that attitude right he did not like to adapt that to his own life he had always believed in change but he was not ready to adapt he was not ready to adapt to quote from the text no wonder mali wants to try a new life they are bound to be changes of outlook from his generation to generation otherwise there will be no progress so this is very much contradictory very much ironical and very much contradictory right as a person he says that people should change right all the generations they should change even though he said like that he did not change 
These are the important things that you have to highlight, my dear students. Make sure to remember. He did not change. This, this, this was the problem. Right? He did not change. Right? If you have any questions, you can ask always. Ironical, that's a very good question. Ironical means what you said is not what you meant. What you said is not what you meant. Now he said that people should change. He said that people should change. It is contradictory because he has not changed. Right? It is very much ironical. Can't you understand that? If a thief says that I am the most honest person in this planet Earth, it is very much ironical because we know that he is a thief. Can you understand, Buddha? Right? Ironical means what you said. It's not what you meant. The idea is totally different. Now, he says that generations, people should change, right? And generation should not follow our patterns. They should change. But then he also should change. If I'm going to tell you that you have to study, I myself have to study. Then only I can give that message. So without following those advisors, how can I advise another person? Something like that. Make sure to remember. That is what we call iron. We have basically three types of ironies. So this actually can comes under the category of verbal line, very much powerful ironical idea, right? He, he believes in change, but he is not going to change. That was the problem. Uh, no, Buddha, it is not because of unconditional love. Unconditional love is something natural, Buddha. Don't misunderstand. Even your parents, even my parents, one day you will become a parent, so you will have that unconditional love that comes naturally. But the thing is, we have to give some kind of advices. We should, we should be some kind of uh, uh, precedent characters. Purvadarsi charitar in precedent characters. We are Dragon thought that providing money, providing luxury is love. The only way that you can show love and affection to your children is not from money. There are a number of other methods. But Jagan thought that money is the only thing that he can show his ultimate unconditional love. This is the place where he, uh, he, he got some kind of mistakes by himself. He did some kind of mistakes by himself. Not because of unconditional love. He was blind by money. He thought that money can do everything. But later he realized that money is not the solution. Later he realized that. Right? That is not because unconditional love. That is because of his misunderstanding. He thought that money can provide everything. That was the problem. Unconditional love is something very much natural, right? It comes naturally. But all the parents, even though they are billionaires or trillionaires, they are not going to give them free of charge to their children, right? First and foremost, they should study. They should get their degrees.
right so shall we move on to the next part i hope that you guys have completed uh it's not monicha i will tell you the word that is uh, there is some word ഉപ്രാസ right so we will move on to the next part i hope that you guys have completed if you have not please pass me a message now itself finish it off don't wait for the recording right otherwise you will never get the recording and do your work right okay i hope that you guys have completed we will move on to the next part right the last line from there we are going to finish chapter number 3 this shows us how many uh, how money centered jagan is right so uh, jagan is a money minded character uh all right the last part i did not tell you right very important part Seem can't imagine about the lifestyle of Jagan, even though he said that he had given up salt, sugar, and rice. He never fails to earn more and more money, right? This shows us how money-centered Jagan is. When Kasi asked about his, uh, when Kasi asked about this, Jagan replies in a hilarious way, "I do not accumulate; it grows naturally. What can I do? Moreover, I work because it is one's duty to work." We know that what kind of money-centered character Jagan is, right? But he did not admit that. He did not admit that. So we finished uh, chapter number three. Basically, in chapter number three, we discussed about the nuclear problem, right? We discussed about the nuclear problem. We discussed about the nuclear problem between father and son. Between father and son, right? We discussed about Ambika's death. Right. we discussed about ambika's death and ambika's death actually created that invisible barrier make sure to remember this word this is what we call invisible barrier right invisible barrier right the communication gap between father and son we discussed about that right in chapter number 3 these are the things that we discussed i am giving you all these things in a nutshell the communication gap between father and son right in chapter number 3 we can realize that jagan's honest regret jagan's honest regret but still he is not ready to change Still, he was not ready to change. These are the basic points that you have to remember.
Right, so we have finished chapter number three and we are moving to chapter number four. Now, up to now, uh, we discussed what actually happened. Right? So you should know the story in a nutshell. It is something very much important. So I hope that you guys have uh, gained some kind of considerable understanding. We have to read. Most of the students, they don't read. Make sure to read. When you read the novel, you will understand it much more better. Right? So make sure to read as well. We are going to start chapter number four. Ben was thinking about the writing career of Mali. He is thinking that Mali is going to do a social service by writing. So Jagan at first did not like this because Jagan thought that writer refers to a clerk, right? A clerk who is doing some kind of clerical work and everything, right? Inside an office. So he thought like that. But later he realized that a writer means a person who can write. He's going to be an author like Kalidasa, like Shakespeare. So he was happy. All these people provided some kind of service to their human nation, even if you take all the poet, poets, all the writers, they provided some kind of moral message. So Jagan thought that Mali is going to do that kind of a social service. But we know that Mali's only perspective or else his only ambition is to earn money. He is a money-centered character, just like his father, right? He's thinking that Mali is going to do a social service by writing. He actually wanted to know in which language Mali is going to write his story. This is something very much important. Right? So he thought that Mali is going to write in uh, Tamil. Right? So if he's going to write in Tamil, he will be only popular inside India, in the South Asian continent. But if he wrote in English, he would be a very popular person all around the world. If he's writing in English, he will be recognized in other countries. His mind was full of questions. Now, suddenly, Mali has stopped his education. Suddenly, Mali has stopped his education. So. As a father, I was really upset because Jagan could not complete his higher education because he engaged in Mahatma Gandhi's freedom movement. And on the other hand, he had a lot of attraction towards Ambika. So as a result of that, he did not have time to study. So he failed the exam three times. So he gave up. As a person who understood the value of education, Jagan always wanted to provide proper education for his son. Jagan always wanted to provide proper education for his son. You should remember that, right? But Jagan was totally upset when Mali said that I don't want to study. On the other hand, in order to become a writer, first and foremost, you should study, you should be educated. Then only you can write about your thoughts. First and foremost, you have to learn a language, a usage of language. Otherwise, how you are going to write a book? Nobody will read that. So Jagan was having a lot of questions in his mind. Jagan was thinking, in order to become a writer, first and foremost, you have to read. In order to write, you have to read. Then only you can get the, all the ideas. But Mali is not engaging none of these things. His main intention is to earn money. That's it. Right? Mali is really helping mankind with his writing. So this is another quotation that we can find out from the story which clearly shows Jagan's love towards Mali, right? He was really happy. He was happy about his son's behavior. He was happy and proud. Right? He was happy and proud. Not only he is happy, he was happy and proud. Right? We can still remember how Mahatma Gandhi spoke about one service to his nation. So he is trying to compare this situation with Mahatma Gandhi. Right? So very much important. We can still remember how Mahatma Gandhi spoke about one service to his nation when he came to the Malguri town. Darren got huge inspiration from the speech when he was a young boy. He got a huge inspiration from the speech and joined with the freedom movement of Mahatma Gandhi. This is known as Satyagrahi movement. Satyagrahi movement. Remember that word, now? Huh? Satyagrahi movement. This is what we call Satyagrahi movement, right? So uh, when Ben was a small boy or else a youngster, Mahatma Gandhi actually came to Malgudi town uh, with his speech. Dragon got a huge inspiration about Mahatma Gandhi without having any second thoughts. He joined Mahatma Gandhi's freedom movement, which is known as Satyagrahi movement. So chapter number four actually starts from there. Hurry up and write down. If you have any questions, please make sure to ask.
others, please hurry up. Right. So yeah, in chapter number four, Right. So remember about the Satyagrahi movement, actually, uh, he believed that India should get freedom from the British regime. So uh, he participated in the Satyagrahi movement. And uh, once he was uh, joining the Satyagrahi movement, he climbed to the uh, collector's house and he removed the England flag. So uh, he was caught up by the police and he was uh, attacked by the police and he had to wait inside the hospital for a long time period and he had to wait in jail as well. Inside the jail only he learned this uh, art of uh, uh, cooking and everything so later he utilized his whatever the talent that he learned in inside the jail uh, to start his own business. So Bhavan himself actually entered to, the, uh, entered to prison because of the actions that he has done as a Satyagrahi, uh, as a participant of Satyagrahi Right, he was caught up by the police and he was sent to jail. Inside the jail only he learned about this uh, cooking and everything. So later, after he got freedom, he thought of uh, utilizing whatever the talents that he learned uh, for the betterment of the for the betterment of himself. Right, that part is important. Right, we will move on from there. Make sure to highlight the quotations. Huh? Quotations are very much important. Zin comes to the shop in the morning and says he had been uh, he had seen Mali on his bicycle. In Vineyard Street. Bhagan asked whether he talked with him, and Kasim said that he was in a hurry. So, as you can understand, Kasim is the person who is always providing all the messages, right? That is why I told you that even though he is a small character, even though he is a minor character, the contribution done by the Kasim's character cannot be underestimated, right? He is doing a great contribution in the novel. That part you have to remember. Kasim comes to the shop in the morning and says he had seen Mali on his bicycle in Vineyard Street. Jagan asked whether he talked with him and Kasim said that he was in a hurry. Jagan requested from Kasim to have a conversation with him without informing Mali about that. Kasim directly said that if he talks with Mali, he will say that Jagan only sent him to have a conversation. So now the problem is Mali knew that when Kasim actually approached to him, Mali knew that his father has sent this particular person in order to know some information about him. Now whenever Kasim came to meet Mali, Mali knew that Jagan has actually uh, made the propaganda and he is the person who sent this uh, particular person. So even Mali knew that he has to tell each and everything to Jagan uh, to Kazim because he knew that Kazim will definitely go and tell these things to his father. So his father could not approach him directly. His father did not possess that personality. Jagan always thought that his son will be upset, right? But uh, on the other hand, Mali knew that Kasim is the person who is actually representing his father. So he said each and everything to Kasim, very much important. Right? Uh, Kasim directly said that if he talks with Mali, he will say that Jagan only sent him to have a conversation. Kasim could not understand that why Jagan is so afraid to have a conversation with his own son. Jagan replied, I hate to upset him, that's all. I have never upset him in my life. That means you have uh, carried things to a point where you cannot speak to him at all. So Kazim was totally upset because Kazim thought that as a father, Jagan can directly talk with his son because Jagan is the father. 
So he is the uh, breadwinner of the family. He is the one who provides everything to uh, uh, what you call Mali. So why can't he talk? But Jagan was having a different idea. Jagan did not like to talk with his son because he was actually embarrassed to talk because of the actions that he has done. On the other hand, he understood that Mali did not have any siblings and Mali had the great connection with his mother and he, even Jagan knew that. Even Jagan knew that. Jagan, uh, Mali was totally upset because of the actions uh, done by Jaganna, right? That means then, then the cousin is asking, that means you have carried things to a point there, you cannot speak to him at all. You are not going to speak to him at all. It's not that, said Jagan, not willing to accept this view, right? Not willing to accept this view. So he said that, no, it's not like that. I, I, I personally feel that whenever I talk with him, it will be a problem for him. So as a result of that, I don't want to continue. That is the idea, right? That is the idea that I have. Right, okay. So hurry up and write down. Right, others, please, hurry up. Right, so this conversation is important, Narya. From this conversation, we can clearly understand the communication gap. Right? The communication gap is clearly mentioned here. Right? Each and every um, idea is very much important right now here. With this entire part, we can understand the communication gap. Right? The communication gap between father and son. Even Kazim is asking the same problem. Even Kazim is asking the same problem. Why can't you go and talk? can do that. Why are you assigning me the job? You can directly go and ask from your son. You have that right. 
ിയൽസിബിൾസിബിൾ right even jagan knew that that is why jagan did not want to continue this uh, conversation right there should be a reason no buta right if a boy is actually refusing his father there should be a reason what is the reason the reason is invisible barrier jagan knew that even though uh, he did not tell kazin jagan knew that he has done some kind of a mistake he couldn't understand what was the mistake but uh, he knew that he has done something wrong he knew that Ambika's death actually occurred because of his negligence, because of his carelessness. He knew that, right? That is why the boy is showing strange notions to his father. These are the important things that you have to remember, right? So we will start the next slide next week. Uh, you can join next week to discuss uh, chapter number four. And uh, uh, yesterday we actually finished uh, Dimash nineteen eighty-three by Yasmin Gunaratna. We are going to discuss about the poetic techniques. Uh, most probably that will be finished um, next week and after that we will start some target questions from the poem the big match 1983 so today we completed chapter number 3 and we understood about jagan's character we understood about mali's behavior we understood what are the reasons for this communication gap and last week and this week we discussed about uh, the invisible barrier we always problems uh, occurred between mali and jagan nath the reason is that Mali believes his father is indirectly responsible. Especially, Jagan's uh, attitude, Jagan's traditional attitude, is the uh, is actually mainly responsible for Ambika's death. So Mali and Ambika they had a very strong relationship. As I told you, Mali always wanted to um, treat his mother soon after he came from the school. But Jagan did not show that much of love, that much of concern towards his wife, towards his wife. As a result of that. Ambika died. Even the doctors said the same thing, right? Even in front of the doctors, Jagan did not uh, forget to uh, include his boisterous speech about this traditional medicine, about this uh, uh, what do you call Ayurvedic medicine. Then only doctors said that your medicine is not going to work now. Your wife is at the deathbed. Go and talk to her. Your son is watching at us. Your son is watching at us. Sometimes he may have heard this dialogue. right sometimes he may have heard this dialogue actually mali heard that that is why uh, mali came to jagannath and he uh, pulled jagannath away when jagan tried to give a hug uh, to his son he pulled him away i will show you the recording i have the recording as well so next week we can see the recording of the first three uh, first three parts and we will get to know about the story much more better i will show you the recordings as well so the recordings are actually in uh, hindi language but i will explain you the characters then you will get much more exposure to the story Okay, thank you so much for joining. You can get the recording tomorrow. Uh, please make sure to participate for the class and uh, make sure to complete your notes. If you have any problems, please make sure to ask. If you have completed any answers, please make sure to send them to me. I am making them to PDF format, and I will mark your answers. I will go through them and I will tell you what are the weaknesses, what are the loopholes that you have, uh, and make sure to study. Right? Happy Children's Day, by the way. I forgot to tell that. Make sure to enjoy. Thank you so much. We will meet next week. Thank you sir bye <laughs>